I like this. Marvin said, we can do better than capitalism. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Here's, if you want to see, uh, and I'm going to go to another story in a second, but here's why we could do better than capitalism. It's because capitalists will destroy themselves. So long as they can get this quarterly profit margin. Let me start that sentence over again. Here's the truth. Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, all these people who made it half a trillion dollars since the pandemic started. And they've done so at the expense of their employees, at the expense of bailouts for the American people, at the expense of stimulus for the American people. They've done it at our expense. The truth is, if we had done this, this, this self-quarantining correctly and the government had done it correctly, they would have got their money anyway. This is what I mean. Remember the bailout of 2009? They bailed the banks out. And what they did was they gave banks money. They didn't give the American people any money, but the banks not only got the money from the government, but they also got the houses, the assets, all the homes that were foreclosed on. The banks got those too. So they got the houses as well as the money, the stimulus from the government. When, if they had done the proper thing, they could have gotten their money anyway from the American people. The government bails out the American people. What are the American people going to do with that money? They're obviously going to take care of their mortgage and their rent. They're going to take care of where they have to live first. Literally, probably every single person in this country, with very few exceptions, is, is going to take care of their living expenses first. So in 2009, when they bailed out the banks, the banks got the bailout as well as the houses and they could have given the money to the American people and the banks would have got their money anyway. But why settle for your mortgage when you can get the mortgage bailed out by the government and get the foreclosed property and then resell the property and get double the money? This is why I say we can do better than capitalism because capitalism can't see the forest with the trees, right? The capitalism only sees the immediate ability to get this, this quarterly profit margin. What they don't see is that they're slowly but surely building up a tension in the American people that's going to explode eventually. Like we've put up with 200,000 deaths. There is a breaking point. What they don't know yet is where that breaking point is. And when I say they, I mean the people who are running this country, the oligarchs, the billionaires, they, they think we're just going to keep taking it over and over again because we've been taking it. But clearly everyone does understand there is a threshold where the American people are going to lash out. And that, my friends, will be detrimental to everybody's bottom line. But so long as they can play this game of chicken, that's what they're doing. They're playing the game of chicken. How much can we get away with before the American people actually snap on us and lash out against us? So far, so good. And so long as they keep can keep us from having a full on revolution of revolt and they can keep getting both the mortgage as well as the bailout, they're going to keep trying and they're going to keep doing it. But it is destructive to itself in the long run. When if they simply do the right thing, not only does the bank get the money that they're owed for their properties, but people are left in a better condition. What's, what's particularly nefarious about capitalists and the billionaire class and banks is that getting their money is not enough. They don't want to get their money and just be happy because they made a profit. They're more satisfied with getting a profit at our expense than getting a profit based on our survival. They would rather get the mortgage and the bailout like they did in 2009 and have us homeless than to just get the mortgage that they're owed via their contract with us.